This video will help you through installing our catenating onto a wooden surface using our wire rope system. Here is all the hardware you'll need that's available on the CatNet's website. And here's some of the tools you'll need on hand. For this method, you will use the wire rope system which works like a frame for your cat run and will hold the net tightly in place. It's made of multiple runs of wire rope that build up the entire system. To start, mark out with a pen where the screw eyelets will sit. These guide the wire rope around the perimeter. Make sure to space them out with two eyelets per metre of fence. Using a drill, first create pilot holes for the eyelets. After that, you can screw the eyelets into position. To start your first wire run, feed the wire rope through an aluminium crimp. Loop through the screw eyelet and back through the aluminium crimp. Make sure the loop is tightened and secured with the crimping pliers. Feed the wire rope through the mounted screw eyelets. At the other end of the run, cut the wire rope, but make sure to leave extra slack. Then grab the turnbuckle, unwind it and hook it to the screw eyelet. As with the step before, feed the wire rope through an aluminium crimp, then loop it through the eyelet of the turnbuckle and back through the aluminium crimp. Make sure to pull tightly and ensure that the wire rope is completely taut before crimping. While holding the end, twist the middle of the turnbuckle, which will tighten it on both ends. Then, tighten the nuts on both ends to lock it into place. This will ensure that the turnbuckle doesn't loosen over time. Do this for the other side of your cat run and you should be left with a frame-like wire rope system. Now that you have a wire rope system set up, it's time to prepare the net. Unwrap the net and lay it out flat. If you need to cut it down to fit your area, make sure to leave an extra half a metre on both the length and the width. This can be trimmed off later. Grab the edging rope roll. This will be used to create a secure edge to attach the wire rope system. Fold over a row of net mesh. Weave the edging rope through the mesh on one of the sides of the net. Using C-clips, attach the side of the net with the edging rope to the corresponding side of the wire rope system. As you attach the net, make sure to pull as tight as possible. Keep the tension on the net and attach C-clips every 5 mesh squares to prevent it from bowing. Once you have secured that side, pull the net to the opposite side as tightly as possible. Find which row of mesh lines up with your wire rope Attach the net to the wire rope system. Once all sides of the net are attached and the net is taut, trim off any excess. Here are some tips to help you figure out what can work best for your situation. You only need one turnbuckle per run of wire rope. For every one turnbuckle, you will need two wire rope grips or two aluminium crimps. We recommend that one wire rope goes through no more than one bend or no more than 10 metres. Measure out the total area that you would like to cover with netting. We recommend ordering a larger quantity than your measured area, as it's always easier to trim the netting rather than adding more netting. Congratulations, your cat now has a safe and happy place to play. For all your outdoor cat needs, visit our website at catnets.com.au.